Hey yo, let me look at my face and something like I'll be I'll be uh, I lost some weight, huh? Y'all tell me in the comments if I lost some weight, but I, I feel like I lost some I feel like I lost some weight because I've been meditating y'all for the last for the last <laughs> I've been always meditating, so I can't really remember for the last, like, how many days. <laughs> yeah, um... I wanted to talk to you all about... Um... The ability to connect with um, several different parts of yourself in this reality that we live in. When I say reality, I'm not talking about this planet or, you know, the world or... Nah, I'm talking about reality in general. And we have different parts of ourselves that are not necessarily, um, that do not necessarily reflect our physical body, like our outside appearance. For example, we have different parts of ourselves that do not look like us, like, at all. We have parts of ourselves that is not even really human. They are just, I mean, some of them are just pure light. Some of them are not even light. Some of them are, mm, just informations really but informations encoded within a language that only you can understand as a person because it is uh, how do I say that it is designed for you and your genetic makeup and um, we have different parts of ourselves that do not even reside in any physical realm whatsoever we have a lot of parts of ourselves that reside in parallel parallel worlds I mean this is how they call it but it's not really parallel if you can uh, tap into the frequencies or the energies of these cells located in other worlds I don't really like to call them parallel because what's parallel you can't connect with right because it's parallel they will never cross each other right so they're not really parallel to begin with but uh, I wanted to say it's time for I mean especially the artists to start, um, 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 to start uh, recognizing the infinite nature of themselves, of their consciousness and their ability to transmit or translate infinity into their art, into what they create. And it's time for the artists also to recognize the, ex I mean, not really excellence, but the really boundless or limitless power of their physical vessel because yes the physical vessel is you know we, we like to denigrate or stigmatize our physical body because in our mind it's physical and it's limited no 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 the physical body is not really limited it's just temporarily limited and when i say temporarily i'm talking about our perception of time and our perception of ourselves as bodies you know and um it's time for artists creatives and overall um conscious people that are living on this planet to really assess their infinity and start giving up on the outdated um systems the outdated the outdated paradigms the outdated um viewpoints you know because we are entering i mean we're already in it but for those who are not already online or who are not already aware or not um streaming already because it's really about streaming i'm really like <laughs> the energy is like it's it's over here yo it's it's all over the place um it's time for you to recognize that no matter where you're from, in the cosmos, because uh, a lot of us come from very far. No matter where you're from, no matter what you do, no matter how you present yourself to yourself. That's a very powerful statement right here. No matter how you present yourself to yourself. And this statement I can, um, out, I mean, not separate, but I can nuance it in two different aspects. The first aspect is the microcosmic aspect. How you present yourself to yourself uh, you know as you present yourself as a consciousness to the vessel that the consciousness is streaming through you know and second aspect is the macrocosmic aspect is how you present yourself and you as how 
you as the cosmos in itself present yourself to the cosmos again because you are the cosmos conscious of itself and you are creating this cosmos like you are still creating it it's not complete it's infinite so and it depends on it doesn't really depend on you objectively speaking like on, a, on an absolute point of you but it really like on a flip side it really depends on you to expand um from your fractal grounds because we're all fractals of the universe right but not all fractals consciously upgrade themselves at the same speed that the cosmos or that the macro be upgrading itself so for all the fractals out there who have problems maybe mindset problems because they don't really think they can do it or they don't really think they are allowed to because they have maybe pledged allegiance to a certain power that is not really more powerful than them you know <laughs> so um yeah it's time for y'all to start like pinpointing you know all this beautiful energies out there all these focal points you know in the timelines and in the you know it's time to acknowledge them and it's time to integrate them and it's time to incorporate them and really just allow the puzzle to fix itself you are the puzzle actually but you should allow yourself to fix yourself and allow yourself to fix yourself according to the best according to the best arrangement or picture that you might possibly imagine and allow your imagination to expand because imagination is infinite but uh, if you don't feed it it's not going to keep expanding so allow your imagination to keep expanding keep expanding keep expanding all right all right cool so peace out that's my message for you today All my English speaking people out there, beautiful souls, beautiful beings, stay grounded, stay up there, stay up updated, upgraded. <laughs> stay authentic above all, stay authentic, stay true to yourself and your values. Stay true to your core and um yeah, we we'll talk later. Peace.